Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got a new and exciting update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you're going to be getting your hands on this week. Well, if we hit F10, this is what it's all about. This is the Blueprint screen. Blueprints allow us to have access, publish, create items, and basically build ships and import them from different worlds. So as you can see, we've got the Henry Mark War 1.5 and some other variations. We've got lock-on missiles. And these are all things that I've already pre blueprinted and got them ready to actually launch and you can also see we have different markers to see that these are on the workshop so henry mark one's on the workshop and we've got the surprise pod from a gift from tazu if we view the details you can actually see that it's an author tazu number of blocks that is used the type small ship and the name surprise pod and you can actually open that up within the workshop here if we decide that we want to view it so it's a really nice and it's quite an exciting system just to see how them things works so let's let's turn off the overlay and let's go back into our menus so the first thing that i want to show you is how to actually add something to the blueprints queue now to add something to the blueprints first of all you're going to need a ship station or pretty much any sort of construction that you built you're going to want to aim at it with your cursor and hit control b so control b aiming at this red version of our fighter and you can actually see that we've added it already to the list there and if we wanted to change the details of this, maybe change the name, maybe it's not a raccoon, now it's been called red, we can hit the rename button, select what we want to change, and we can just call this the heavy fighter in red. And we'll select that, and you can see how it's changed on the menu, and it's moved up to that location. We can also publish it to the workshop by hitting this button, and it'll start publishing it and add it to the workshop, and it'll turn into something that looks like this. So Henry Mark 1 has already been published and added to the workshop, so I'll show you what just happens with that. So if I go off that, here F10 again, and we go onto here and we view the details, you can see that this is a workshop file and also the description has been changed. Now to change the description, then I want to open it up in the workshop and just like any usual sort of workshop file, you're going to scroll to this location exactly here, edit title, edit description, and then you're going to add what you want to do. And I'm just going to leave it at the moment with a small ship with a large heart, something that I think sums up Henry quite well. So we'll save that and we'll go back to our item. So we'll turn off the overlay. So the overlay is off and it's been edited and by refreshing the blueprints, we'll have an update of exactly what has happened. Now there's other ways of adding things to the actual blueprints list. Now you can do this by control C in. We'll drag this out here and we'll copy it into space there. And to prove that it is an actual different version, we'll spray paint it blue like so. Now we're gonna aim at it. We're gonna control C it once again and we're gonna actually create a blueprint from our copy and paste. So we're gonna hit F10, and we're gonna create blueprint from clipboard. So that's our copy and paste. So we've created that now. And what has it called it? Heavy Fighter Red, I believe it's called it. And then you can notice actually there's no picture on this one because we've created it from the copy and paste. But if we click OK, we should be able to copy that one in just like that. Now the problem is that we've not actually got a picture for it. So let's actually go back to our F10 menu and we're gonna select our new little fighter. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna hit the details and we're gonna change, rename it to the blue. Hit the blue and hit okay. And we also need a picture for it. So we're gonna hit take screenshot here. So this is gonna add a screenshot to this new ship. So the blue fighter there, we're gonna come off there, hit F10 again and it should have refreshed. We can actually see that it's added it to that one there. So absolutely perfect. We've got a new and updated screenshot for that thing. Now we can also replace an item. So say I want to update this fighter just a little bit. Maybe it needs some more firepower. I can add some more machine guns to the top just like so. Maybe add one or two there as well. And what I'm going to do now is control C it just like I did before. Hit F10 and select the ship that I want. So that's the one I want at the moment. And I'm going to hit replace with clipboard. So this is going to actually update the blueprint and replace it. So when I copy and paste this in now, it'll have them three extra machine guns on top. 
Just a really nice, interesting feature, this blueprints. Now, this can come in handy in many situations. Now, say you're building with a group of friends, you can share your blueprints with them. You can also build a sort of production line where everyone has access to your blueprints and maybe in a future build, it'll allow you to actually copy and paste into survival. Maybe not in the completed shape or maybe in some sort of form of a ghost ship where there's actually lines and directions to show you how to build that ship in a survival sort of world. That'd just be really exciting to see and I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with these blueprints in a survival scenario. Now moving on, let's share some of our blueprints with a friend. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is sharing an item with a friend. So if you wanna share a blueprint with a friend or you wanna share it with some of your workers around your station, maybe to mass produce a small little fighter or something, this could be the way of doing it. So you're gonna hit F10 and what we've got here is we've got all the ships that we have. And I'm going to share my Henry Mark 1. You can see it's got the Steam icon, so that means it's already been published. And what I'm going to do is go to Details, and I can actually send it to a player that's in my world. So Tazu's across there. I'm going to select Tazu, and we're going to close it. Now, if Tazu sends me a ship in return, or some sort of funky item, you can see it's come up here, and it's actually greyed out, showing that I've not yet accepted the item. And I'm going to double-click on that, and then it's going to ask me, would I like to have a look at the item on the workshop? And now he's actually sent me a surprise pod. So we'll subscribe to this and we'll see what a surprise pod actually is. So we'll minimize the steam overlay. And we're going to refresh our blueprints. And you can see the surprise pods came through straight away. So I'm going to double click on the surprise pod. Hit OK. And we should be able to copy and paste this in. I think we don't have to go outside for this though because Tazu's surprise pods tend to be quite big and dangerous. So out we go. I'm going to paste this surprise pod in, rotate it around. And there's the surprise pod. So I guess Tazzy wants me to sit on the chair. Looks very similar to the thing that was actually in our survival, and that didn't end too well. So I'm on the chair nice and comfortably. Oh, and it looks like the, it seals me in and sends me off into space. And if I do remember correctly, this thing actually explodes and, and kills me inside. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.